Good evening, the children of Bower and Primary Nursery School. This is Mrs Banks, in case you hadn't realised, and I am reporting from Bower and Primary School in our Key Stage 1 department. For many of you, you are at home and we are missing you. For many of you, tomorrow is going to be your last day and we again are going to miss you. For some of you, you're still coming to school on Monday and you're going to be gutted because you're going to wish you were at home. This is unprecedented times and you will have heard everyone keep talking about it. We have talked to you in your classes about what the coronavirus is. What it means is that we are not all going to be together for some time. Barham is not going to be the same without all its children running down the corridors. Oh no, not running, walking. It will not be the same without you in it because Bowram is its children, is its family. But don't forget, all the things that you are doing at home will be all the work that is set on the website for you. So, I just thought I'd spend a little bit of time explaining to my children why some of you are in and some of you are not. The government is trying really hard to make sure people socially distance themselves to stop this virus spreading. We, hopefully, will all be able to do that and in a couple more months, that virus will have gone. For some families though, they need to work in the hospitals, they need to deliver our food so that we can eat, they need to be able to, obviously, open up their shops and deliver all the things that they need to keep this country going. We need the police to be around, we need the fire service ready, we need our prisoners uh, service looking after the prisoners. We need all those people that keep this country going, working. So schools have to do their part and we have to have the children in school so that those members of staff can actually go out to work. Those mummies and daddies that do those jobs can go to work, the paramedics, the school teachers, we need to keep it going. So, some of those children are going to be coming to school every day. Some of you, whose mummies and daddies don't work in those industries or work from home or are able to stay at home, are keeping you at home. Please understand that this is a time where we need you to be kind, to be gentle, to work hard, to listen, to respect property, to be honest. We need you, our Bowram family, to do your Bowram best, whether you are at home and learning or at school and learning. Everyone's going to be doing the same. We're going to be on the website, doing our learning boards. What we intend to do is when we're in school is to send it through our new Bowram YouTube so that you can then remember where we are. See, there we go. You can be part of it even when we're not at school. The children that are in are going to be doing things on the YouTube to send to you and all the staff are going to hopefully be reading books and new storybooks so that you can access it so you can keep in contact with all your teachers. So, it won't be me every day but we are going to be doing a daily update for you, all of you at home and all of you that are going to be in school so you can keep in touch with your Bower and family. We love you so much and we will miss you and it will soon be over and then we'll all be back together again. For those children that are starting with us on Monday, you need to be in your sweatshirts, but it can be dressed down. Be ready to do sport every day, so come in your trainers. We are going to make sure that you do your choice boards, that you work independently, but also do the fitness every day with Joe Wicks. We're going to be out on the field, trying our very best to keep ourselves going. Stay motivated, Bowram. Love you lots. See you tomorrow.